So Sean, no IP video site survey is going to be complete without a conversation about network design. And that's going to be part of our system design and developing a parts list. So I see you've drawn a little bit of a, a diagram here. Let's talk a little bit about network, the importance of this IP video system. Um, all IP video systems use some form of a network to distribute the video. That's correct. The, the question during the site survey is going to be very important to find out from the customer where they want the video viewed, um, how many places, in what fashion. So tell me a little bit about what we've drawn here with regard to viewing video across a network. Sure. So what I drew here was a very simplistic uh, drawing of a LAN. So here we have a few cameras. Uh, that connect into a switch uh, with a couple of workstations, even uh, things like printers are actually on there too as well. Uh, it also matters what type of cable you have connected to the cameras uh, that feed into that switch. So uh, even in this very simplistic drawing, it's very important to recognize that you really need to think about what you're putting in here. And also, uh, I want to point out that this can also be upgraded. Uh, to add more sites later on down the line. Mm -hmm. So then you would be introducing a wide area network or a WAN yeah. uh, in this solution. Great. And the, these cameras potentially have a lot of uh, data, a lot of bandwidth, and on their production network, that could really cause some problems putting all that data onto their production network. Um, so developing a specific LAN for just the security component could be very a very wise decision and a conversation obviously we want to have with the customer. Absolutely, and there's plenty of times where we go in and there's customers who have cameras already on their network, but they want to upgrade. Can their current infrastructure handle that? It's very important. Yeah. So great, that's awesome. That's a local area network. Uh, let's talk about now, or what does uh, IP video system look like where I want to view the video over a wider area, uh, multiple buildings, across town, that kind of thing. Sure. Let's take a look at that. Absolutely. So Nick, what I've drawn here is a typical WAN uh, environment right here. So here we have three sites that are actually connected through the cloud in this case. Uh, as you see, in each site they have two cameras, two workstations. Each one has a switch that connects to a router that connects out to the public cloud. So there's different mediums involved. There's more hops that are involved now too as well and there's a lot more cameras and a lot more bandwidth is really uh, needed in this case. So obviously getting a little bit more complex, but we're taking each of these individual local area networks and just tying them together across a larger uh, scope. And obviously the question during our site survey is where do you want to have video viewed and how dispersed are your camera and appliances on the network? If they're all in one building versus multiple buildings on a campus, or even across town or across the country. That is how we get into this wide area network. Um, in addition to this wide area network of appliances, which are all hardwired and connected, what about mobile clients? How do, about viewing video, I know most of our customers want that now, on tablets and on phones. That is part of this wide area network as well. Absolutely. Yep. If a mobile client wants to connect in through the public internet, mm -hmm. they're going to have to be able to have that increased bandwidth and be able to see each of these cameras. Or we could actually put these into VLANs where maybe a mobile client doesn't want to take a look at this uh, site right here. Or maybe for security reasons, we can't have them see this video uh, at this point in this uh, solution. Okay. So that helps with the VLAN discussion with the customer as well. Absolutely. Understanding what, where they want that to occur within their LAN. Um, great, this is a big help. And again, this helps us with our site survey, asking the right questions so that we can design the right network topology, have the right devices, and ultimately meet the customer's expectations of how and where they want to view their video. Now, obviously, this is a little bit of a crude drawing, but we can actually bring into some computer software programs like Visio to really kind of show them how their whole entire layout will look. 
Great, so if you reach out to the mid-chest team, we're happy to put together that information based on information you've acquired at a site survey, and we can develop drawings and obviously a, sub a subsequent bill of materials for that network and the appliances. Yes, and the caveat to that would be bring us in as early as possible so that we can make sure that all bases are covered. And if we could be involved in this conversation, that would be even better. Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you for the education. I appreciate it, Sean. Absolutely. My pleasure.